Hello there, people of YouTube. Ben Gothard here, somebody who knows some stuff about technology and wants to show you. So today we are going to talk about... How'd you like that intro, by the way? It was pretty underwhelming. Anyways, let's hop in uh, and talk about Similar Web. This is an amazing free tool. Obviously, it says pricing here, but they do have a free tool that you can use, and I just use the free one because it's awesome. But basically, it allows you to understand metrics about certain websites so it's awesome and there are two ways you can do it so let's talk about what you can do on their website first and then we'll talk about the chrome extension that you can see in the top right here so first let's use their website so let's say we want to analyze uh, a competitor or we want to do some market research and learn about somebody else in our industry so uh, during the filming of this is actually like the height of the um, coronavirus. And so one of the big jumps that I've seen in websites is in online education. So let's take a look at somebody like a Coursera, right? So when we go there, we will see information about this website. So we can see your founded, headquarters, estimated employees, so on and so forth. But the real gold is the traffic overview. So we can literally see, okay, from month to month here, we see what their numbers are, right? And so you see where it says February 2020, Coursera.org, 27 million. That's how many visits they got that month. So if you want to see, okay, should I get into the education industry, you can see this trending upwards. So you can see 27 million visits in February, 45 million in March, and 74.6 million um, in April. So you can do research on this and you can get information about different websites and different competitors or let's say you want to start a business and you're trying to see what businesses are hot right now or what's trending upwards. You can use this tool to gain information about different businesses. But not only can you see their total visits, but you can see the traffic by countries. You can see the different traffic sources, which is amazing. So like they, they have so much information, right? So direct is like, I go into the bar, the search bar here and I type in Coursera.org. That would be direct. Referral is like, let's say a blog has top 10 info websites and they put Coursera there and people click through the blog to get to Coursera. That would be a referral. Search is like searching on Google or Yahoo, whoever does that, or Bing, again, whoever does that. Pretty much Google, whoever searches on Google and gets to uh, whichever website you're analyzing through there. Social is social media. Mail is email. And display, uh, I believe, are like Google ads. Um, a little bit fuzzy on this one, so check that one out. But anyways, it gives you the referring sites, right? This is incredible. So let's say that you are uh, competing with Coursera, and you are like, okay, where are they getting all of this referral traffic from? I want to get this referral traffic too. You could literally go see where all of their referral traffic is coming from, and maybe you want to run ads on those uh, on those platforms, or you want to go and speak to them and say, hey, you're sending all this traffic to Coursera. We have a better product. Send it to me. Um, so, I mean, you could see, I trust you see the implications there. It's just a huge, huge win for you. Um, then you could see search. So you could see what are people searching on the Internet to get to Coursera, which is just incredible. So you could literally snipe their top organic keywords and do a better job of of uh, ranking for these keywords than they are. Obviously, like, it's going to be hard to rank higher for Coursera than Coursera, but you, you get the picture. Like, what if they had free online courses and that's what they're ranking for? Then you could make something better than that and you could capture all this traffic and you wouldn't have to guess where they're getting it from. And so social, you could see they're getting a ton of traffic from all these different sites. So you may say, okay, people in the education industry are on YouTube and Facebook primarily. You know, that's where your big, your, your heavy hitters are. And so you want to go here and get traffic from there. Like, the, it's, it, it shows you all the things that you need to know. And then, of course, display advertising is like where they're running their ads from. So you see skim links, whatever that is. That's a big ad network, so you might want to dig into that. And then you can see their audience audience interests. So you could see, like, I mean, there's, there's so much information here. You could even see their competitors and their similar sites for even more research. 
uh, and, then, and then the mobile apps here, which this one isn't as good, but I mean, there's, there, there's such a wealth of information. So going to the website, that's great. But let's say you're just digging around and you don't want to go to similar to Web's website. So let's say you want to go to like Udemy dot com and you're like okay I want to um, get some information on Udemy excuse me I want to get some information on Udemy here uh, from similar web they actually have a Chrome extension and you just click it and bam all the information is right here it's like a miniature version of what you saw on the website and then if you want to dig into it you can go and dig more into it but like you could see oh wow this is trending upward so you could you could see the global ranks I mean there's so much you could do here so this is just the most basic of tutorials with similar web but I trust you see the potential here and the value that similar web can um, can can give you so uh, what I would suggest doing is going and using this tool because there's so many different applications for it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description below that you can use to go grab similar web there is a free thing I'm using the free thing you saw all the information I got just using the the free plan or whatever it's called so um, I put a link to that down in the description below go check that out and use it use it use it to supercharge your research all right helpful guy on YouTube out